What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first BDSP VGC Showdown Live. Now, today I'm gonna to be trying out this team I built earlier on um, last night. Uh, it revolves around two Pokemon in particular, being Toxicorp Substitute uh, Breloom and a Silk Scarf Inner Focus Safeguard Kangaskhan. But before we get into that, do me a favor. If you guys enjoyed this video and I am playing time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. What Pokemon do you think is going to be a really strong pick that hasn't been noticed yet in VGC for BDSP? Anyways, leave a like in the video and let's get into it. Also, be sure to check out my Discord. I'm trying to get more people in there. Uh, so, you know, check it out, join it, talk Pokemon with me, and let's uh, describe this team. So, Breloom is a really powerful Pokemon in BDSP. I actually really wanted to make a video talking about the best fighting types in this game, because fighting types are a really interesting bunch when it comes to viability. Breloom is arguably one of the best ones because of its access to Spore, and it's pretty okay speed tier at 70. Typically, uh, Spore users aren't that fast, they're usually at like 30, uh, so Breloom being at 70 is actually pretty significant, especially with proper speed control. So what we're running is a Toxic Orb Poison Heal set, meaning that after going for a substitute, after two turns of Poison Heal, we'll actually get all of our health back from that sub. We also have Drain Punch for reliable recovery. I was tempted to run a um, stronger move, like you could run like a better fighting move. Um, actually, I don't think it gets anything much better. Like, Force Palm is pretty bad. Yeah, no, there actually isn't much. Um, you could run, like, Focus Punch, I suppose. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit riskier. So yeah, Drain Punch was actually the best play. I don't know why I thought that there was a stronger move. Uh, but yeah, along with that, we have Seed Bomb to help us deal with Rotom Washes and Spore. The whole idea here is when you're facing off against an opposing Breloom, a lot of the time, uh, when you're threatening Fake Out plus Spore, they'll end up just protecting on the Fake Out, knowing that on the next turn they can deal with the Breloom more effectively. I'm going to try to play to their expectations and go for Fake Out with my Kangaskhan, but using that turn not to Spore them, but to set up a substitute, thus making my Breloom much more safe to Spore whatever's in the field and get just a decent amount of damage off on everything. We're running a very specially defensive Milotic. This actually is able to easily take Thunderbolts from Offensive Rotom, while we go for Scald, Hypnosis, Recover, and Coil. Coil, of course, boosting our physical defense and allowing us uh, to just stay in the field for quite a long time and have accurate Hypnosis. Our Kangaskhan is running Silk Scarf with Fake Out Safeguard, Double Edge, and Rock Slide. Safeguard is actually a tech that I'm testing right now. By the way, I should mention, this team has hardly been tested. I'm not really trying to get as many wins as possible in this video. Obviously, I want to win, uh, but I want to test out the team and see how functional it is because I have gotten a quite a few games of it. Um, but I want to just continue to feel things out and see if I need to make any adjustments. The safeguard tech is really interesting. This team had a really rough time versus Smeargle in earlier testing sessions. However, I had the idea of putting a Silk Scarf Kangaskhan on it because not only do we outspeed and get a faster fake out, but we can actually go ahead and go for a safeguard, not having to worry about possibly getting flinched uh, by opposing Smeargle and thus allowing the rest of the team to run items that are a little bit more viable. Like for example, typically on Garchomp you tend to see like a Lumberry to make sure it can't be burned or put to sleep, uh, and also just so it can switch in on the Spore once in a while. However, because we aren't running Lumberry, um, thanks to Safeguard making us a bit more safe versus Spore, we're actually able to run a Focus Sash, which is really nice. So yeah, uh, Kangaskhan's actually really cool. Like you're able to just get unflinchable, unintimidatable damage off against a lot of Pokemon. And Rock Sled's just there for flinching, really. Um, I just need a coverage move. We have a bulky Scope Lens Togekiss. It's got enough speed to outspeed um, opposing Breloom. Obviously 134, 135. The bulk allows us to easily tank a Thunderbolt from opposing Rotom. And also be able to uh, tank Rock Slides and uh, Stab Rock Slides from Tyranitar or Garchomp. The, also, the special attack just means we always two-shot Garchomp if it's uh, not a crit, but we're crit kiss, so we're probably going to crit. <laughs> uh, we have Focus Sash Garchomp, just a standard Dragon Dance set without Protect. And we have a Shookaberry Heatran, Protect, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Taunt. Taunt is actually really nice uh, for stopping Trick Room. Since this team doesn't really like being under Trick Room, it can, you know, it can work under Trick Room, but uh, we're typically going to be focused more on being uh, pretty fast, bulky Pokemon. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, this is more of a testing session than anything. I don't know how well we're going to do, but I'm hoping we'll do pretty okay. Safeguard Kang, there we go. But yeah, uh, ooh, okay, this immediately 
immediately has been a pretty good uh, showcase for the Kangaskhan. Uh, like I said, we don't have to worry at all about being put to sleep or flinched or anything, because we can actually just go ahead and go for the safeguard immediately. This also makes me want to... How do I take full advantage of this? I, I think that my Heatran is actually in a really, really good spot here. Um, obviously, the Politoed is a little bit annoying, but I don't think they're going to bring that to this matchup. It feels weird seeing Politoed without, like, a Rain Abuser. We are low ladder, though. Like, I haven't really been doing any serious laddering yet. Yeah, I think I'm going to lead off Kangaskhan Heatran. It seems very safe. Mm. Can I take a Drago from this thing? That's my main concern. I actually don't know if I do. I'm going to go ahead and bring my Togekiss in the back. And I think my last Mon... Uh... Milotic is kind of iffy in my opinion. Breloom is also pretty iffy here. Garchomp is definitely not feeling it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go Milotic. It just seems the most reliable out of the three. Yep, there is the Smeargle and the Latios. Unfortunately here, um, they're probably going to go for Tailwind plus uh, Spore, which would actually be pretty annoying. I actually can't stop that right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Fake Out on the Smeargle. And I can attempt a Taunt. I don't really need to KO it yet. Should I just go for the KO? I mean, fake out. Yeah, I should really just go for the KO. Yeah, they're just going to give it to me. As I actually go for a Surf, I, 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 I don't know how to feel about that. That was very interesting. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Why would you do that? Um... Yeah, no, I can go into my Milotic here and click Double Edge on this Latios. I should be able to KO it now. It's it, Why would you do that? That makes no sense. Um, actually, I'll just Protect. Do I do that? or? Yeah, I'm just going to Protect here. That was strange. I, I don't know why they did that. That makes no sense. Okay. Um, we're actually kind of in a pickle here seems to be Serene Grace Togekiss, because you don't tend to waste a move slot on Thunder Wave if you're uh, Crit Kiss. I'm going to go ahead and Safeguard here. And assuming they're going to Earth Power, I'm actually going to go Harden my own Togekiss. Yep. And I can't be flinched, thanks to my Inner Focus, and this is actually not a terrible spot now. Uh, let me go ahead and click the Double Edge into the Togekiss for a little bit of damage. And I'm going to go ahead and double into my Milotic. As in comes the Latios. I wonder if there's specs. That definitely looked like... I don't know if it was specs damage, actually. I don't know. Um, should be able to go into my own Togekiss and just click Crit Dazzling Gleam. And... Yeah, they don't really have a way of winning if I set up a Coil. Because then I just have Reliable Hypnosis for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this first match has been. This has been really interesting. As they go for Psychic, it isn't Specs, which is nice, because uh, that definitely would have done more. So they do flinch me. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, we're not in a losing position just yet. I'm going to go ahead and... Assuming... <sighs> Dang, yeah. Uh, I need to get rid of this Tokus first. Two Dazzling Gleam should do it, if I crit one of them. I'm going to go into my Heatran here. They do go for the Earth Power. Sugarberry isn't going to save me there. Um, but I didn't feel like losing my Togus just yet. And wow, that took it like a champ. Yikes. Okay. I can try to recover. A actually, I should take one hit from this uh, Heatran. It's mainly just the follow-up from the Togus I'm concerned about. Uh, I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and Scald. So they're pretty bulky and they have a berry. Yeah, no, I wasn't able to take that. Uh, that was unfortunate. I really uh, didn't expect to lose that game, to be honest. But uh, that just that just is how it is sometimes. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they went for the surf turn one. Okay, this is actually really cool. Uh, they're pretty ice weak. Actually, funny enough, don't have any ice moves on this team. I dropped ice beam for uh, <laughs> for hypnosis. So, hmm. Actually, I can pretty reliably lead off like Breloom Kangaskhan here. Yeah, I'll be able to set up the sub. Uh, as long as they don't lead off with, like, both Togekiss and Arcanine. My Lotic in the back looks phenomenal. I don't think they're going to lead off with Arcanine. It'd be really dumb to lead off Arcanine versus a Milotic team. 
Uh, I actually really hope they bring the Torterra. I'll go Togekiss again. Alright. So they go Kiss Gliscor. I actually really like that. Uh, Gliscor shouldn't be faster than me. They typically run bulk. <laughs> Yeah, uh, probably going to go for... It's probably going to protect anyways. So I can go for a sub here and uh, fake out on the Tokus. As they don't go for a protect... They actually Swords Dance. Are you Poison Heal? Yeah, they are Toxic Heal. That's strange. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, I am faster than, than them though. So... What I can do here is go hard into my Togekiss. I think I'm, I'm just going to spore theirs. Actually, no. I think I just go for the double edge immediately. Because my kiss can deal with this. I need to chip it into range. Yeah, and I'm faster than their kiss, so... That's nice. Awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and go for a, another sub here. And... I think if I double edge here, they'll be in range of Seed Bomb plus my next one. Nice, I got the sub off. So here I'm actually just going to go ahead and Seed Bomb and double edge. Actually, that probably won't KO. Probably won't. I should really get rid of Toekiss first. All things considered. Yeah, I'll do this. Good damage. Hopefully it doesn't wake up. Okay, I do get the KO. Nice. There's the Acrobatics. Yeah, uh, that Glide score is way too focused on this Breloom. Also, Acrobatics doesn't do that much because the... Like, on a Breloom it will, but like, generally speaking, it doesn't do that much because the Glide score is still holding that Toxic Orb. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna let him have this. If I can get a Spore off on that Garchomp, that'd be great. Yeah. And I wouldn't mind double edge. So he goes to the Dragon Claw. And I'm going to get the Spore. Uh, let's see if he's Lum. Kind of wish I Seed Bomb now. <laughs> yeah, there's the Acrobatic Scale. Uh, but now I just go into my Togekiss, and the game's pretty much free. He can't wake up this turn, and he can't protect it, so I can D Gleam and double edge into this Gliscor. There's the Empoleon. That's fine. As long as I get this damage off on Gliscor, I'm pretty much chilling. Uh, no crit, a little bit, a little bit unfortunate there. Uh, they have revealed that they have protect. So what I can do here is call them on the protect, go for my own protect, switch in my Milotic. There it is. And this turn I should be able to pick up a KO. Uh, Ice Beam won't KO me. So I just double in this, uh, I double into this slot. I should 1v1 an Empoleon pretty easily with my Milotic. And the Garchomp is pretty much all but dead at this point. It's a really bulky team. Nice, I get the crit. Get the KO. Uh, they actually go for a Grass Knot on my Milotic. Take that pretty easily. I can just D-Gleam here. They can't protect that Garchomp. Uh, I'll go ahead and go for the Scald here to possibly get a burn. Uh, but the game's pretty much wrapped up. All right, nice. And I do get that burn, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click these buttons. Nice, GG. That wasn't a terrible showcase for Berlin. Honestly, I kind of wish it went a little bit better, but I suppose I'll take what I can get. Hopefully we can get a, a match where it's um, pretty smearable heavy and I can actually use the Kang a little bit more effectively. Definitely taking a second to get a match though. Man, I've got so many teams that I want to use. <laughs> There are so many teams I wanna I wanna try out. I have a slacking team. If you guys are at all interested in me using a slacking team, 
<laughs> All right. Houndoom. This is uh, pretty interesting. So, what's Houndoom's base speed? Is it 80 or is it 100? Or 90? It's it's somewhere in that range. It's 95. Um, I can... I mean, I can pretty reliably go Reloom King again. Milotic actually looks phenomenal in this matchup, too. They got, like, one thing for it, and if I bring Balloon Milotic, it's just, you know... They're, uh, they're pretty covered pretty well. And I think my last one is just gonna be this kiss. I have to be really careful, though. Uh, Scizor can definitely mess me up. I suppose if I can set up a coil with my Milotic, and they opt not to bring the Rotom, I'm actually in, like, a really good position. But I don't see a reason for them not to bring Rotom. It hits half the things on my team, and it's just, like, a generally good Pokémon. Yeah, there's the Rotom, there's the Cress. Um, however, I should be able to... Cress doesn't run Protect. I, I should be able to just put that to sleep and fake out this Rotom. Yeah, there's the Kiss. As uh, probably Barry on Chomp. They're not Barry. That's actually awesome for me. Um, more than likely, they're faster than me with this thing. Yeah, I should really hold on to this. I need this to beat the Rotom effectively. Uh, I'll go into my own Tokus and I'll just go ahead and go for the double edge here. Some of you might be wondering, Marcos, why you're not going for the Rock Slide? And uh, silly question there. So, Rock Slide is split between the two of them. So while it might be 150 base power on Tokus, double edge actually does significantly more since it's not split in any way. Yeah, look at that. That's that good damage. There's the D-Gleam. Uh, they are running crit, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, I should be faster than them. Seems like I'm uh, one of the faster Toa users. And uh, I guess I'll double edge. This is a little risky. It, it's a little risky, but oh yeah, this is going to pay off. Yeah, this, this paid off well. This paid off so well. Lost my Kang, but honestly, honestly, I don't really mind it. Let me go ahead and go into... I'm going to go into Berloom here. And that's mainly because I want to bait them into trying to win the speed tie. I, I genuinely think... I genuinely think that um, I'm faster than them. So I really want to go for the Spore. But it's so risky. I'm trying to I'm trying to weigh the options here. Obviously, I got a D-Gleam here. Catches most things. I got to Spore this Cress. Um... If I don't spore the Cress, how bad is it, really? It gets pretty bad, actually. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, baby. Be faster. Don't be Timid Max. The only way he outspeeds me, really, is if he's, like, Timid Max. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. He was Timid Max. Because look at this spread. This spread's actually pretty fast. Where is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm 180 Timid. It's faster than Modest Max. So, uh, that's probably game. That's probably game. Let me go ahead and I'll protect here and I'll go for the seed bomb. Actually, have they have they revealed protect yet? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh right, yeah, I am faster so I can just double into this thing with seed bomb. And I should win regardless. Good damage, seed bomb should pick it up. Nice. And it does stay asleep, so that's that's game. That's game. We don't have uh, updated info on Picolytics yet, so we actually don't know what the most common spreads are for a lot of these Pokemon. Uh, I'm not sure how fast people are running Togekiss right now. All I know is uh, a lot of them are modest. So I figured that by uh, running Timid, I could default say, yeah, I'm probably faster. But as we see, that isn't always the case. Because mine, uh, mine is literally just speed crap for my own, or for any, um, oh, okay, only four Pokemon. Mine is speed crap just to outspeed any Breloom. Um, Kangaskhan is surprisingly reliable here. <laughs> the Kangaskhan has been such a goat in this entire session. Uh, I can probably bring my Kiss. Actually, no, I, my, like, obviously I want Milotic, right? I'm going to go Milotic Kang. Just seems very, uh, very good here. And... Definitely don't want to bring these guys. So I'll just go, uh, Berloom Kiss. Alright. I'm gonna set up a coil here. 
and fake out this Cola. If he goes into Pelipper, so be it. Um, he's not going to get much, he just gets a faster fake out. I want to use Life Orb. Yeah, he's not going to like this. Um, I should always be able to KO him here. More likely than not. Actually, yeah, no. Um, getting rid of this Ludicolo is huge for winning because I need my, I need my my Lotic to reliably beat that Scizor. Uh, I definitely don't want to let him get off like a Grass Knot or anything. I'm gonna go in my Tokus and I'm gonna double edge here. This goes in the Scizor. Interesting. So does great damage. They go for the Tailwind. Hmm. I might get Nainate here. Gonna go into my Milotic and uh suppose it's just rock slide here. So they U-turn. Damn, I might I might be getting schmooved on right now. By a four Pokemon team, no less. I don't really gain much from following me. Gonna go into my Berloom here. Really doubt a D Gleam KOs these guys, so I'll just air slash. They go in the Raichu. Are they gonna protect? No, they go for the fake out. So I'm gonna pick up the Ludicolo. No, alright, I guess I deserve that considering. <laughs> considering everything, uh, I suppose I deserve that. Let me go ahead and. I'll protect here. If I can get. Actually, if I spored this Raichu, I'm in a really good spot. I doubt they'll let me, but. Oh, they let me. They let me. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Uh, let me go ahead and spore this. I'm guaranteed to take a bullet punch here. I know for a fact I actually calc for that. If they're life or bullet punch, I tank that. Okay, uh, they're choice banned. <laughs> they're choice banned. That wasn't great for me because I was supposed to take the other one. Okay. All right. Um, do I sub here and scald? Uh, he woke up. Yeah, that was, uh, oh my god, I just eat that. <laughs> I actually just ate that so well. I do get burned. Uh, I suppose what I can do here is just seed bomb and recover. More likely than not, just gonna go ahead and get, um, grass knotted. Okay, they just let me recover. My play here is gonna be to seed bomb and go for the scald. Yeah, they're gonna bullet punch me, break my sub, hopefully I can get a burn. Come on, baby. Crit? No burn. Alright. They're within drain punch range. I don't need to put them to sleep. I actually live that, that's crazy. I have a chance to win this, and that's surprising. Yeah, uh, my best chance is going to be Seed Bomb Scald. They do Thunderbolt me. However, this is a pretty strong attack. No burn, Hurricane. There's a lot. Dang, this special defensive set's actually coming in clutch. Hopefully they're not like Thunder. <laughs> if they're Thunder, I'm in trouble. I'm going to take a lot of damage here, but... I kind of hardwall this Pelipper. Oh, they crit me. Okay, that's that's pretty unfortunate. I was, I was going to win there. I was definitely going to win there. All right, let's get let's get one more game actually. Oh, it's getting late, so I just want to get one last game for the video. All right, GLHF. Interesting. All right, uh, I've seen Scarf Gardevoir get talked about online. A lot of people are saying Scarf Gardevoir is actually pretty decent. Uh, overall, though, my Milotic lead looks phenomenal versus this team. It really does. Is Kang looking good too? King doesn't look awful. Um, Garchomp looks... <laughs> Garchomp looks so bad here. It really does. Yeah, I'm gonna go Kang. Kiss. I think Heatran is actually pretty fine. Let's hit that timer. <coughs> I 
as they lead off Entei Weavile. Now, as we all know at this point, Entei cannot be flinched. That being said, there's a good chance he's just going to go for a fire move into me. So I'm going to get in my Heatran, and I'm going to try to coil. Actually, I might just fake out the Weavile. Nah, I tried to make a read, didn't work. Alright, now I'm actually going to do what I said I was going to do. Let me coil up and go into the Heatran. <laughs> Ice Go Crash. Sacred Fire. I wonder if they're banded. Actually, no. I, I, they might be. They could be. They could be banded. Um, I'm going to Coil again. And honestly, I'm Sugarberry. I'm willing to roll the dice here. I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to Coil again in Heat Wave. I'm going to roll the dice on this. Yeah, they seem to be some kind of lock. I do miss the Gardevoir, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but I should be able to flash cannon it now. And I'm going to go for the Hypnosis here. Yeah, they don't really have any switch-ins to flash cannon. Actually, technically they have like two in the back, but if they brought Garchomp, uh, it doesn't really count. Man, I kind of wish I was Marvel skill right now, that'd be so nasty. <laughs> the unbreakable defense. Let's go for the taunt. That's fine. That's fine. I do get the one shot. And I am Shuka. Um, so technically I should take this. Honestly, it doesn't matter if I take it. I don't want Heatran anymore. <laughs> uh, I just want to go for the Scald here. And I should be able to... If I burn this Garchomp in a really good spot. And uh, I suppose here... There's not really a point in protecting. I'll just Heat Wave. Yeah, nice. Good damage. Alright, uh, they are Life Orb. Looks like Fake Out's going to be actually huge for the endgame. I'm going to go for Scald here. He's actually, he's going to KO his own Entei. He doesn't really have an option. I'm going to go for Protect. Because if the Entei is some kind of lock, whether it's like Band or something, which it seems to be, he's just going to KO it. All right. I should be able to recover. I think I can recover here. What I take, I took 12% uh, plus 13%. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, if he misses. He also just dies this turn if he attacks. So I win regardless. Stay in. Oh, he's not. All right. That's fine. Nah, I should win. Let me go ahead and go for the Air Slash in the Fake Out. Oh, why did I Fake Out? I'm dumb. <laughs> why did I actually Fake Out? Anyways, I, I win anyways, but... Or I guess unless he has Stone Edge. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm still not used to this thing. <laughs> Wait, why was it so slow? I don't know. This is a weird late night recording session. <laughs> Hopefully I got to showcase Breloom for you guys. I, I mean, in some matches I was able to. Some matches a little bit strange, to say the least, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.